Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's video we're taking a look at some of the essential and must-have tech and gear to take with you when you're going to remote work or work from anywhere. Uh, the way the industry has been going these last year to two years, more and more positions are moving to full remote or partial remote. Uh, my position, for example, is now 100% full remote work. So your location matters less and less, assuming you've got the correct tools and gear to do your job and a decent internet connection. So today we're taking a look at some of the must-have essentials that I'm taking with me on an upcoming trip here in the winter to try and demo and test this out. While this is a vacation trip, so I'm not technically working, I'm gonna bring the gear that I would need to show that it's doable and actually quite fun to travel and work at the same time, uh, especially if the time zones kind of work to your benefit. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at some of my favorite tech and the stuff that I'm currently using day to day and just how portable this stuff is. We're going to be loading up an OGO bag that I've got here next to me and this thing has been on a lot of trips with me. It's a good size, it's kind of hefty, but it's got a great sized laptop sleeve in the back. So this is a must have and we're going to touch on a few of the things that I'm putting inside of this bag including this. HP ZBook, one of the new Fury G8 versions. Uh, this thing has been sent to me by HP to test out and demo in this exact scenario, working remotely as well as on my design and creative stuff like editing videos and content for you guys. I'm going to be doing all of that from this laptop for the next few months. All right, so let's open up the bag and see what must have gear you're going to need as a designer or drafter on the go and working remotely. First up, I'm taking my OGO Renegade backpack. It's got a ton of compartments, including a large laptop sleeve to fit the HP ZBook Fury G8, HP's new creator and workstation laptop. This thing is packed full of power and I'm going to put some specs to that and links down below. Next up we've got the Lucid Sound LS50X wireless headphones. These also double as a mic or headset for Teams calls and meetings. Then I've got my Baron Fig Idea tool set which includes the pen, notebook and case and is a must carry for me every day. I take all my notes and sketches down in there. Next up is the CAD Mouse Compact Wireless by 3D Connection. This has been my daily driver for the last few months and I'm loving it. Next we've got a second pair of headphones, in-ear JLab J Buds. I like these for exercising, running, and some travel where you don't want the bulky over ears. Then lastly we've got the Google Pixel 6 phone to kind of tie everything together and stay connected. And then as always you're going to need a handful of cables including charging, USB, and an HDMI in case you want to use a hotel screen or monitor to easily connect to. All right, so that's all the gear I'm taking with me in terms of working remotely. In addition to this, I'll have a bag with some clothes, a few books for easy reading, and then the software I'll preload onto the laptop, things including Autodesk software like Sybil 3D and AutoCAD, as well as Teams and any VPN or remote access software you may need. As always, you guys can use the link down below to get NordVPN uh, for super cheap over a two year package exclusive to you guys, the CAD intentions viewers and subscribers. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. I'm gonna post a few videos and shorts throughout the trip, letting you know how things are working, things that I've liked, things that I may need to improve for the next one. I'm also gonna put a in-depth blog post together with some of this gear in my wrap up 2021 gear guide. Uh, highlighting some of my favorite tools and tech that I've used as a designer over the last year. As always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like the video down below and hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all my new AutoCAD tutorials as well as gear picks and recommendations and reviews. I'll be sure to be posting more of those in the new year. And as always, thanks for watching and have a good one. Cheers.
Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.